Okay, so we're back for another deep dive. And uh, we're yeah. going to be looking at a single sentence. All right. From Shakespeare. It's the opening line from Richard III. Okay. Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by this son of York. Pretty amazing, like right? Yeah. It's definitely one of those lines that uh, just kind of grabs you right away. It does. Uh, I think a lot of people would probably say that's a great opening line. Yeah, definitely. So that's what I kind of wanted to dig into today is like what makes it a good opening line? And does it actually set the stage for the whole play or is it... You know, just a really well-written line. Right. Yeah. Because you can have lines that sound good. Yeah. But if they don't really have anything to do with the rest of the story, then it's almost like... It's a little bit of a cheat. Exactly, yeah. So I think in this case, Shakespeare is being very clever here. He's not just giving us a pretty line. He's actually packing a lot of meaning into these few words. Oh, for sure. And one of the things he's doing right away is grounding us in a specific time and place. He mentions this son of York, which refers to King Edward I. Okay. So right away, we know who's in charge. We know the setting. We're kind of dropped right into the middle of things. Yeah, I noticed that right away, like that historical context. It makes you want to learn more. Like, who is this son of York? Why is there discontent? Exactly. And that's another thing that I love about this line. The contrast between winter of our discontent and glorious summer. It just creates this immediate sense of tension and drama. It does. It's like he's hinting at some kind of change, like things are about to shift. Right, like winter's ending, summer's coming. Something's going to happen. Exactly. And this is where it gets even more interesting because the person speaking this line is Richard III. And he is not a fan of how things are going. Oh, so there's even more going on there. It's not just about the seasons changing. It's about Richard's own ambitions. Exactly. He's ambitious, he wants power, and Edward IV is standing in his way. So you could say that this line is foreshadowing the entire conflict of the play. Wow, that's amazing how much he packed into just one sentence. And you know, there's also that word are that I keep thinking about. It's like he's not just talking about his own as discontent. It's like he's speaking for a whole group of people. That's such a good point. That one word are does so much work. It makes it feel like this discontent is widespread, like everyone's in on it. It's almost like he's inviting the audience to feel that discontent too. Like we're all part of this story. Exactly. And that's one of the things that makes a great opening line. It doesn't just tell you about the story, it pulls you into it. So we've got historical context, we've got foreshadowing, we've got this clever use of language to draw the audience in. It's all in one sentence. It's incredible to think about. It really is. And you know, it makes you wonder, did Shakespeare plan all of this? Or did it just come out that way? Right. Like, how much thought did he put into this one line? Knowing that it was going to be the first thing people read? It's hard to say for sure, but the brilliance of it is that it works on so many levels. It's beautiful poetry, it sets the stage, and it leaves you wanting more. Yeah, like it makes you want to keep reading. To see how all this plays out. Exactly. That's the power of a great opening line. It's not just the beginning of the story. It's like a promise of what's to come. And in this case, Shakespeare definitely delivers on that promise. Richard III is a wild ride from beginning to end. I think I'm going to have to go back and read it again now. Just to see how it all unfolds. I think that's a great idea. All right. Well, that's our deep dive for today. Thanks for joining us. It is a pleasure. And until next time, happy reading.